Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 Italy. Um, so we are still on our track for a war with Austria-Hungary. We're at level 10, Tension, which is close. We're two away from being able to be at war with them. Now, I still want to... Uh, get some more heavy cruisers so that we can at least match what they have now. And we'll, we're fairly close once we finish the one we have currently in the slips. Uh, and we're, we'll be at parity with them near enough uh, when we finish our two light cruisers. We still have a huge advantage in battleships. Uh, but... I'm thinking about maybe because from what I re remember, like I don't, we don't have anything that kind of pushes the size of our docks, and uh, I, I don't necessarily like this ship, which is our current heaviest ship, because uh, it is just slow as all hell. So I'm thinking we'll try and design a new battleship. what we got here okay 12 caliber it's good it's got uh two turrets on there it's about normal for this era 14 six inch guns and 16 three inch guns four torpedo tubes 19 knots medium range and normal accommodation with 11 inch belt ow I, wow this is this is actually a fairly good ship those arcs are good. We might be able to squeeze out 20 knots if we increase the weight to the max. Yeah, that's all okay. So we got a 20 knot battleship, 11 inch belt, uh, 11 and a half inch conning tower, 11 inch turrets, turrets top or secondary and a 2 inch deck. Um... It's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. Hmm. Can we... I'm just trying to think here. Can we possibly... Because we don't have anything... Ab no, we don't have anything above that. Because our... Uh, the only guns we have available are... Are uh, 12 inches. Can we maybe go up to a... 7 inch bring that down so 7 inch secondaries I mean 5 inches what about 8 inch secondaries okay ship's overweight but our 8 inches are better so I'm good with that so 8 inch secondary guns 10 of them and then 3 inch tertiary guns that gives us a fairly good ship here, in terms of speed, firepower. I mean, 8-inch secondaries are pretty good, and... Although, it's not the best. Our 12 inches are not the best. I'd still say I'm good with this. So, what is this? The, uh, the Pompiro Magno? Magno? Uh, class, I'm, I'm good with that. We'll save this. Yeah, three months to research that, but I'm good with that. Uh, the other thing I want to do is uh, we're going to build a couple more subs. We have quite a few... We have a lot of spare funds, so... We're going to invest a thousand of that into new subs. And we're just going to have a whole bunch of them for the upcoming war for merchant... Uh, purposes and we do not have any real good new heavy cruiser designs so let's see if we can design a better heavy cruiser as well something with uh cramped accommodation low freeboard i don't necessarily that is a battleship uh heavy cruiser let's try and auto design a base ship it's not giving me what I want. 
Okay. Eight inchers. It's the turret and elevation gear. That's the problem. Because we'll just keep what we have right now. Once we up once we get an upgrade on our turret and elevation, what is it specifically? Uh, uh nine inch, uh, less than nine inch guns without reliability training and elevation gear. If we can get that upgraded, then I'll be good with making a new heavy cruiser. Though this one, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily. We could get that down to maybe twenty knots. That gives us a huge amount of weight. Go back to normal on that. And normal accommodation there. So we got 300 to play with. Can we get you to 9? So 9 inch guns and double turrets. Some 5 inchers will bring down you to 6. Well, no. Keep you where you're at. Uh, well, no. Let's bring you down a little bit. And see. Can we get it? Eight, eight inch armor? Eight inch armor is not bad. No, cancel. So we have to go down to seven and a half. Okay. Can we get the turrets to six and a half, maybe? Yeah, that's good. Turret top at one. Belt coverage is normal. Could go colonial service with this. Make this a colonial battleship, essentially. I mean, a 9-inch gun isn't that bad. That's pretty good, actually. We're going to put you on colonial service. That'll that'll give you a bit more range. You'll work out pretty well. So we'll call that, this the Preza. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, so we got two ships being designed, well, uh, in design study right now. They'll take three months, but those will be some fairly good uh, new generation he heavier ships for the fleet. So let's go ahead and also, I guess, got that. Um, yeah, we'll just save up money. Gonna have to have a lot of it. Uh, intelligence report, uh, Austria Hungary's put down. Okay, some Corvettes. Nothing I really care about. Still really want to try and hedge our bet. If we can get to 11th threat with uh, Austria Hungary, that'll be really great. That'll put our uh, funding up quite a bit. There's an international upheaval in Java. It's apparently sending a force. Uh, we should not risk anything with the with the British. They'll take Java. Scientists have trouble finding an improved subdivision. Fuse arming devices. Okay, just a whole bunch of ships being put down, so now they control Java. Mozambique would be nice. If we could get, like, control of Mozambique, that would give us two holdings in the Indian Ocean. I mean, it would also essentially mean we have to have uh, ships on uh, on station there. Right now, we don't. So, I guess it's kind of an either-or thing. Uh, okay, we're almost done with our reliability study. Okay, battleship finished her working up. Okay, that cruiser's done. Let's go ahead and build two of them and you're ready to go we'll just have two of you as well now the thing is is that we're going to stop construction on you stop construction on you let's also stop construction of this heavy cruiser until the other heavy cruiser is done We'll get a couple extra... We'll get a bit more in funding after these few destroyers are finished. So we'll go to the next turn. Okay. We're going to do the Navy. That's good. And our threat went down to 7, so that might have been why our funding went down a bit. I'd have to review the footage to see how much our yearly budget went down. Uh, also, once we're done with uh, building these subs, that'll open up uh, quite a bit of... Uh, of spare funding. 
Okay, two more destroyers, six inch range finder, or six foot, not inch, wow. Uh, okay, quality nine guns, that's not bad actually. Uh, that would, we'd have to do a rebuild of the Prisa. Uh, with quality zero guns would actually help quite a bit, because right now they're at negative one. Okay, keep going as we are right now. I really do want to try and get a war with uh, Austria-Hungary before they put down a whole bunch of uh, battleships and the like. That would be what I want to do. I just, I don't know. Don't know. Got to try and engineer a situation. Ooh, okay. Quality uh, one uh, five-inch guns. That's pretty good as well. At least we're getting better guns. That's important. Spy, uh, handle it quietly. Advanced submarines. Okay, we've got periscope for our subs. It's good. That'll increase their uh, reliability, which will decrease uh, accidents and make them a little better in terms of uh, rating. Uh, there's been an uprising in an African country in, uh, in the focus of great power colonial ambitions. We need to send a force to evacuate our nationals and protect uh, in protest. Uh, so, um, could send a battleship. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. No one like that, but it got our... Yeah, there we go. We're edging it right at 11. That's good. Uh, that'll let us, because we are one month away from finishing, uh, this light cruiser and then another light cruiser, we should be able to go ahead and, uh, and just have that go. Okay, there's a light cruiser done. Heavy cruiser will be done next month, as well as another light cruiser, so we're going to un-halt the construction of this battleship. There's another two cruisers done uh, in northern... Uh, yeah, we're not going to get involved in that, so they took over northern Korea. Yeah. And because Japan doesn't exist as a power that we have to deal with, they just kind of <laughs> lay back and take it. Okay. All right, and we can begin construction. Eh, wouldn't necessarily do that. We'll wait for a couple subs to get done, then we can uh, start building this other heavy cruiser. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, hold the plans for the latest Austrian improved six-inch guns. Okay, use of defensive minefields is increased. Nice. Increased naval spending, doing a lot of night training. Okay, so if we go to our research now and check out naval guns, our six inchers, quality zero. Were they always at quality zero? I'm not sure. Uh, probably not, actually. Uh, we're still, our biggest guns are at negative one. I want to get them to zero or one would be great. But we'll have to wait on that. Uh, let's see here. I'm okay with going to a medium on that. We can maybe go ahead and do a... Hmm. Go to a high focus on our turrets and gun mountings. I want to try and get it so that we can mount uh, our smaller guns for heavy cruisers into uh, turret mountings. The same with uh, light cruisers as well. I I'd rather not use casemates or single turret or single gun turrets. Uh, I'd rather have them all kind of together. Okay, there goes another light cruiser. The war party in Parliament demands immediate action against Austria-Hungary. An excellent idea. Okay, I think here we go. I think we're going to go to war. Get some budget and prestige. Okay, war's broken out. War were declared. All right, convoy attack. Enemy Austria-Hungary. Okay. Battle size medium. We outnumber them on most aspects. Go ahead and do this. Alright. Just gonna double check preferences here for sound and audio. I only want this to go background sound. 
Eh, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay with the sound, actually. So we got two light cruisers and a squadron of destroyers. We're to sink two transports. Okay. Let's get uh, our various... Little, uh, okay, so we got that, so our gun range, our sight range. I also have gun uh, shooting lines and a little inlay here. So we do have another destroyer division to our back. Oop, somebody's shooting at something. Don't know what that is. So we are to sink two of these, okay. What do we got? Possibly cruisers? Those are light cruisers. Those are light cru that's a destroyer. That size, that's a destroyer. Okay, Panther class destroyer. Okay, let's compare what we got here. So you've got eight six inch guns, 18 three inch guns, 22 knot speed. Uh, 5,100 ton to place, uh, displacement, 2 inch belt. What do we got? 10 4 inchers, that's pretty shit. Uh, we're a lot smaller, we've got a little better armor though. Are we the same class? Same class, so we are at a disadvantage. We are going to, uh, what's our top speed as well? Uh, 21 knots. So I think we're actually slower and less capable than they are, yes we are. So we are going to go to a squadron max. We're going to try and go around them. Those are destroyers. Okay, how about we go this direction? If we can knock out a couple of destroyers. We might be able to force them to, uh, abandon fighting us. Because they will, they will break if they take many casualties. And you've got eight six-inch guns. We've got four-inch guns. What's their belt armor again? Two inches? So if we wanted to actually fight them, we have no way of breaking through their armor. Do we possibly have the benefit of night? Nope. It is on the other side of the world. It is noon. Or near enough to noon. Okay. So what is that? Light cruiser. None of these ports are open enough for me to... I mean, that one. Polo it might be able to... If we could get around, double back, and then up through to Polo, we might be able to hit a transport convoy of some sort. But they'll never leave us alone. Okay, they are opening fire on us, so we're going to have to get sneaky here. So they're at 26, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play offensively with our destroyers as a pack, and we're going to try and force them back. Okay, we have to stay within line of sight, though, because of the difficulty we're playing on. Screen with the f destroyers, screen with them. We're faster than they are, so we control the tempo of the fight. Okay, we got a near miss and a hit on one of the destroyers. Okay, turret destroyed. Sad and took some heavy damage here. gonna do that and we're gonna actually I think I think this is a bad fight we're gonna try and run 
We're gonna have the destroyers try and do our end round. Come on. Hit him with some torpedoes. Well, torpedoes were launched. Okay, squadron max down to... Come on. Might be able to catch up with them again. If we can catch them at a steady angle and a steady speed, we could... Nope. Aha! Reinforcements came! Oh, and they're running. Uh, it looks like they're trying to run. That heavy cruiser can keep them moving. We might be able to... Okay, let's just keep going. Keep this running continuous for a while. We'll let the heavy cruisers and cruisers deal with them. We do not have the ability of fighting that force. Yeah, we got some pretty bad cruiser designs. But our newer light cruisers are better. So, hopefully we can get them into the fleet, and once they're into the fleet we can start using them. Oh uh, yeah, that was a Mar that was a Marcella class. That was the the lead ship in the new uh, the new line. Yeah, they're all in their own fights. Yeah, they're fighting. Marco Polo's opening on new ships. I mean, we might be able to go ahead and start, if we go back to AI control for this. Could go up to Pola, try and get a transport. Problem is that now there's a big fight going on there. Go this fast because they're actively fighting. Okay, you're an AI control. That destroyer that took some engine damage. We'll see how they go. Hopefully, the Marcella and the uh, Marco Polo can actually deal some good damage to the enemy. What I'm hoping, at least. There's a lot of reports going on right here. Line up here, see if there's any transports. Used to be a, uh, a like a fuel range, but I think they took that out. Yeah. Either way... Well... The weather took a turn. That might let our other forces pull out of the fighting. You know what? We're gonna try and head this direction. We're gonna see if we can take us too long to get there, but we do have reports of actual transports down this way. If we can knock them out, we might be able to gain our objective. Uh, looks like he turned, because he would have been somewhere right around here if he maintained his speed and course. That's, that's what I think that means. Not sure, though. No opposing inside, just scenario over. 
We lost one destroyer, they lost one destroyer, they got a major victory, because they had 18 merchants survive, so they got major victory for that. Uh, apparently quite a few of their light cruisers were damaged, though, and a lot of their destroyers were damaged. Our cruisers, not so much, so... Mm. Oh, yeah, at the end. Oh, yeah, there they were. But... It looks like our boys already pulled out. Yeah. And there would have been nothing up here anyways. So we might have just been a good idea if we just went in with our friends and then uh, took out some of these uh, merchants. Eh, well, live and learn. And the scenario, they'll get some victory points for that. Uh, no, we're not going to call that a good engagement to name. Uh, okay, so now we have to put some ships on trade protection, which is the new patrol. So we'll go ahead and put you on trade protection. Yes, eight ships. Uh, okay, quite a few of them. So active, 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 and active. U4 on trade protection. There we go. Okay, that's going. Let's go ahead and build a couple more of our much more usable uh, light cruisers, because seriously, these uh, Ninos are horrible. And they currently make up half of our light cruisers, so I'm thinking... No, we can't. San Marco needs to be resumed. Once these subs come off the slips, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, that'll be what we'll have to do. Uh, though, looking at the time, it looks like it's going to be the end of this episode. So, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. We'll take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!